Hey, what is going on everybody? It's Bloops here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Sfax, the texture pack for Hexit. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click in the first link in the description down below and that will take you here, which is the bdcraft.net. This is the site for Sfax texture pack and this does not have the Hexit patch for it yet. So you could drag this right into your Hexit texture pack folder, but it will not have the textures for the new mods. It will just have the textures for the regular Minecraft. So what you're going to want to do is go down here and I recommend, and as well as the site recommends, the 128 by 128 version. I would not go any higher. And these here are already the latest versions. So do not download 1.6.2. I'll say that. You're going to want to download 1.5.2, okay? Because Hexit is not updated for 1.6.2 as well as the other Technic uh, mod packs. So you're just going to want to download Minecraft 1.5.2 and when you click on that it will take you here to an AdFly page and also as well as if you cannot run 128 um, definitely do not go up I can barely run the 512 by 512 only run these two if you're absolutely sure your computer can handle it but if your computer can't even handle the 128 version or for some other reason it just can't do it you're getting a white screen or errors you can always go down to the 64 by 64 or the 32 by 32 as well as the 16 by 16 i think you guys get it so after you do click on your download remember 1.5.2 you're going to want to go to this ad fly page and wait the five seconds until you can skip ad just forget about this stuff here and after the five seconds click skip ad and it'll take you to this site right here and your download should start automatically which it is right here all right, so while that's going on, you're going to want to click on the second link in the description, which will take you here. And this is the Hexit patch. All right, in the Hexit patch, this is what's going to actually give you your textures for Hexit. And you're just going to drag them actually into your Svax folder. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the corresponding thing that goes with the other download. So if you downloaded 128, uh, you're going to download the 128 patch. If you downloaded the 64, download the 64 patch, and I don't have to do this again. So you're going to download the one that goes to the other download that you were downloading currently. And I'm just going to click on the 128 because that's what I downloaded. And uh, let's start that download now. Alright guys, I'm just going to give that a second download and I'll see you when it's done. Alright guys, so those downloads are done and what I did, I just dragged them to my desktop for easy accessibility. And you're going to want to open up this Fax Hexit patch. The first thing you do. And if a little window like this pops up, just exit that out, like that. And you're also going to want to open up the second download, which is the Swax Texture Pack. And again, exit that out. And after you get to here, see if I can make this a little bit easier for you guys, right there. Um, you're going to want to highlight all the files in the Swax Hexit patch. And you're just going to want to drag and drop them into your Swax Pure BD Craft. And it'll ask you, it'll do this extracting thing. And then when that is done, it'll ask you something, it'll pop up, and just say OK. If it doesn't pop up, then you'll be fine, don't worry about it. And uh, this could take a little bit longer for some computers, it depends how good your computer is. But it shouldn't take that long, so mine's already done. Now, when it's done, you can just exit out of this fax hexit pack, and you can just put that off to the side, you don't need that anymore. And now that you have this, you can also close out of that fax. And by the way, if I didn't already say this, you're going to need WinRAR or 7-Zip something to open these files up. If you don't already have that, I'll actually leave another link in the description for WinRAR. But it, you really should have it by now. Um, and you can, after you dragged in the folders and the files into your Sfax texture pack folder, it's already able to be dragged and dropped into your texture pack folder in your .technic. So what I'm going to do is actually rename this. You can do this if you want. It won't cause any problems. And I'm going to rename it Sfax Hexit. And after that, you don't have to rename it, by the way, you are going to want to open up your run and type in, as I already have it there, percent app data percent, and then click OK. And you're going to want to open up your dot .technic. If you have a dot .technic launcher, don't use that, that's the older version. And open that up, and then you're going to want to click on Hexit. After you clicked on Hexit, you're going to go to Texture Packs. And once you're here, you're just going to drag this right here on your desktop or wherever it's located into your texture pack folder. All right. So once you got that, you're pretty much done. You can just open up the game and 
click your texture pack for the facts to pop up. Alright guys, I'm going to show you some gameplay just to prove that it works in a second. Alright guys, as you can see, the facts texture pack is working with regular Minecraft and with the Hexit mod packs. There I have freeze rate armor on and the trees as well are textured with facts. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is an awesome texture pack and thank you all for watching.